Hey guys, what's up? Sigma has bidding you welcome. I thought today I might show you my PlayStation 3 collection. It is all contained on this one shelf, and as you can see, it is overflowing a bit, so I am going to have to create either or buy another shelf or get another. <laughs> what am I thinking? I'm going to have to get another shelf either to store more or to move some over, you know. But I've been counting them, and I have about 475. Uh, give or take maybe 10 or 20 depending on how my counting skills are going because I was just going do, 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 and going off of that so it might be a little bit off but it is between 450 and 500 uh, less than 500 though and there are a lot of good games here so let's start going through them unfortunately a lot of these are recent purchases so I haven't gotten a chance to sit down and play them yet but there are games that when I decide to play them I can play it I can talk about the ones I have played so I have Armored Core 4, Atelier Shelley, Armored Core 5, Atelier Totori, Autonelico, Atelier Rorona, Army of Two. This is a really fun multiplayer game. This is the uh, Chinese version, I'm pretty sure. But it still works. Good game. Amazing Spider Man 1 and 2. I enjoy these games. These are games that are very easy to get into. Good superhero games. And who doesn't like a good superhero game? So these up here. These are my sealed games. I got these like a dollar each one time. Uh, 007 Quantum of Solace. Uh, 3D Dot Game Heroes. This is a very interesting game. It was a not super early game, maybe like 2011, but it's a kind of Zelda clone, but you play as a pixel character in 3D. It's cool. Telio Maruru, Telio Marona Plus, which is the um, updated version of that game. Uh, Sora's Wrath. This is a Recent buy and recent finish. This is a super short game, but you play as like God and you're fighting other gods. It's pretty cool. It's a lot like a like um interactive anime. Ape Escape, that's a move game. Uh a few titles to recommend. These adventure time games. These are a lot like um like classic kind of games. They're like one of them is a lot like Legend of Zelda and the other one is a lot like a dungeon crawler and they're like they're good games, check them out fan of the series, definitely do. Assassin's Creed 1, 2, 3, Rogue Brotherhood, and Revelations. Just move that over. Good games. Assassin's Creed 4 is my favorite, but the rest of them are really good too, you know. Yeah, if you have these ones, you can play them and they're really fun. And the ones I can recommend to non-gamers as well. Ages of Earth, Alice Badness Returns. I wanted this to be better than it was. It's okay. Record of Agoras War, uh, Zero and Generations of War, Apache Air Assault, two other Army of Two games, very fun, Anarchy Reigns, Alpha Protocol, Ace Combat, Afro Samurai, uh, not a great game, but it's kind of fun. Armored Core for Answer, Afrika, this was the first game I ever saw playing on a PlayStation 3 when it came out in Australia. It's a Natsume game, it's basically just like a uh, safari game. You go around a big open area and take photos of animals. Alien Isolation. Maybe my favorite horror game of last gen. It's just so good. Just like the original Alien movie where it's like you can't defend against the alien. It's this unstoppable creature. So good. Aliens Colony Marines which sucked. Learn in the Dark Inferno which sucked. Wake and Fate Ultimatum. Borderlands 1 and 2. Good games. Uh, Brutal Legend. That's an interesting one. Blaz Blue. Black Sight, Bioshock games are standout titles of the last generation as well. Definitely check these out if you have not played them yet. These are the editions that include all the DLC. I really like Bioshock Infinite. I bought that one brand new when it came out. Good first person shooters. Also, good games of the last gen here. Definitely recommend these ones the Batman Arkham Trilogy on the PlayStation 3, Arkham Asylum. Arkham City and Arkham Origins. Origins is the weakest, but it is still a really good game. The Arkham Asylum and City, definitely ones you should be playing. Uh, the Bureau, XCOM The Classified, probably most well known for a rant by Spoonie. Betrayal! Yeah, it's a bad game. Brink, they hyped this up so much and it sucked. Brothers and Arms, really good game on the PlayStation 3, check it out. 
Good first person shooter set in World War Two. 007 Bloodstone, Body Count, Burnout Paradise is a fun racing game, Blade Storm, Bionic Commando, which is not very good unfortunately, uh, some Battlefield games, another Blaz Blue one, might as well throw that in with the other one, where are ya? Blaz Blue Calamity Trigger and Continuum Shift, there we go. Yeah, the Battlefield games, they're, they're good. Bound by Flame, I haven't played that one yet. Bakugan, Bayonetta, really good game. Definitely check this one out if you haven't. Yeah, you can get this on the Switch, you can get it on the Wii U, you can get it on PS3, Xbox 360, the PC, you can get it on anything. Uh, Blades of Time, Bleach, Soul Resurrection, uh, Binary Domain, which was a another standout title of the last gen. Solid third person shooter set in the uh, future where a lot of people have like robotic parts and stuff. Really good. Beyond Two Souls, which I liked. Uh, the new game of this developer is coming out recently, or soon. Bulletstorm, which is fun. Castlevania Lords of Shadow, which is good. The other one there. Call of War Wars. These were games that should have been better. They should have been... Like, the first two Call of War Wars games were good, and then the cartel was really bad. Call of Duty games. Modern Warfare 2 and 3, Black Ops 2. Catherine is a standout title. Definitely check this one out if you haven't. This is coming out on the Vita pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. Getting a re-release in Japan, but it's just a interesting game. You play as a guy trying to choose between two women in his life, both named Catherine. Captain Morgan and the Golden Turtle. That's a point-and-click game. I haven't played it yet. Conflict, more Call of Duty, The Cursed Crusade, Captain America, Child of Eden is a good game. Definitely recommend that one. Really fun. It's move compatible, but you don't need the move to enjoy it. It's not like um, Rez on the PlayStation 2 if you ever played that one, just like a music rhythm shooter game. Crash Time 4, Condemned 2, Condemned 2 is good, I enjoy it, I enjoy the Condemned games. Conan, which is a really fun title, it's like Call of, not Call of Duty, God of War. Cars 2, Cartoon Network, Punch Time Explosion XL, another Call of Duty game. Castlevania Lords of Shadow, Crisis 3, Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen, really good game. Dishonored, which is good too, Dynasty Warriors Gundam, and Driver San Francisco. Alright, down a shelf. Second shelf, will it be as good as the first? There's certainly more games on it. So first off, we'll start with D here, and I guess we'll look at these games at the end. Really need to get another shelf so I can properly display all of these games. Properly displayed game is a happy game. So we have Duke Nukem Forever. Jesus, starting that one off badly. Awful game. I had fun with it though. Dynasty Warriors 8, Darksiders, Dynasty Warriors 6, Dragon Ball Z Rising Blast. Dragon Ball Z games are something I really liked on PlayStation 2 but just never got into them on PS3. Dead to Rights Retribution, this is one of the early games I had for the PlayStation 3. Really liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Third person shooter where he plays a guy with his dog. What's there not to like? Hold on. Ah. Big Nuke can make yourself useful. Here we go. Dante's Inferno, really good game. Uh, total God of War clone, but still a really fun game. Based off the of Divine Comedy, come on. Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. I should do this just so I can show titles. Dark Void, not very good. Dragon Age 2. I showed Dragon Age Origins before. Devil May Cry 4. Good game. Not the best, but good. Pirates of the Caribbean. The Darkness 2. Another standout title from the last gen. This one is sealed. Really good game, though. Uh, my roast... Roast. My most recently beaten game. Deus Ex Human Revolution. This is a limited edition. Really good game. Really good stealth espionage. A lot of choices you can make. Set in the future as well, like a Blade Runner kind of thing. Really good. Uh, Doom 3 BFG Edition. I remember buying this one yeah, when it was 23 bucks. I gotta get that sticker off. I wanna get that sticker off. Good game though. I think this one comes with. Yeah, the Lost Missions and all of that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the remake of Devil May Cry. People didn't like this one as much. I thought it was good. I think people just don't like change. Uh, two copies of the original Darkness, American and Australian, really like this game too. It's like a faux open world first person shooter, it's really good. 
Dice Warriors Gundam 2. Destroy Humans, Powerful of Furon. This was a good game, but it's like afterwards, no one really wanted to destroy humans anymore. Dead Rising 2. Deadly Premonition. Really good game. Uh, not good as in well made, but it's like a lot of heart went into that one. It's all like uh, Twin Peaks the TV show if you ever saw that. Sky of 4. Dice Warriors 6. Two copies of Dead Space 2. One is brand new and sealed. The other is the collector's edition, which also comes with, yeah, Dead Space Extraction, which you can play using the uh, PlayStation Move. Really good game, though. I love the scene in the um, the uh, church. Dark Side is two. Dark Souls series, crazy good. I mean, if if you love the Dark Souls series, you know why they're so good. Destiny. Dead Island, bad sequel, one of the first games over here to get an R rating though, and Dice Warriors 7, Extreme Legends, Damnation which isn't very good, I was hoping it would be better, uh, The Blob 2 which is made by an Australian publisher, need to do some maintenance on that one, and this one, Def Jam Icom. Icon. Okay game. It's a fighting game. Do I have two copies of Dark Void? I sure do. Definitely don't need two of them. Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Good game. I, I really like Diablo 3. Devil May Cry HD Collection. It says 1, 2, and the Special Edition of 3, which is actually the easier version. Good games though. Do I have two copies of Dragon Age Origins? I think maybe I do. That's okay. Yeah, this stuff's gonna fall down. Dragon Guard 3, which is sealed. This is one I want to sit down and play, so I will be opening this one eventually. I just need to play the first two. They just they look like really cool games to me. And I enjoy Neo, which is a spin-off of them. Sky 3, good game. Dice Warriors Strike Force. Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tinka Ichi. The Evil Within, another standout of the last gen. This is also on PS4, but really good game if you haven't played it. It's a survival horror game. Gameplay-wise, it's a lot like Resident Evil 4, but it's got, like, the mind fuckery. El Shaddai. I don't remember when this came out. 2011, maybe? Yeah, 2011. You play as an angel killing demons in heaven, and it's pretty good. Earth Defense Force 2025. Earth Defense Force games are just fantastic. Enslaved Odyssey to the West. This is a good one, too. Enchanted Arms. Two games I... I really want to say I can. I really wanted to say I finished, but I haven't finished these. I believe in, in Skyrim. I have played these quite a bit, but just haven't finished them yet. Enemy front. Everybody's golf. Eat lead. Fracture. Front mission evolved. And fuse. Alright. Far Cry 3 4 in the Wild Expedition. Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. And another copy of Fallout New Vegas. Really good games there. Yeah, if you like Fallout, you know it. Final Fantasy XIV. Fist of the North Star Ken's Rage, which is a good game. Fear 2, Fear 3, and the first Fear. Uh, some of the early games I played on the PlayStation 3. Really, really good games. Uh, Final Fantasy XIII, 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 and thirteen three. Lightning Returns. Not very good. Uh, Folklore, which is an interesting game. Not amazingly good. Come on. It's not amazingly good, it's just a very interesting game. You play as this character, I think you play as a rider and you go into this forest and battle creatures. It's really interesting. God of War Ascension, Guitar Hero shit. I don't know why I still have that. Uh, G Godfather 2, God of War Collection, Game of Thrones, this is a good game. Uh, Guilty Gear, God of War 3, which is one of my favorites on the system. I'm looking forward to the new one. Grand Theft Auto, Golden Compass, Golden Axe Beast Rider, which sucks, GTA 4, which is awesome, Hitman, Genji Days of the Blade, uh, Flip the Giant Crab for massive damage. Uh, Genji 2 is an action game, which is based on Japanese history. The um, stages of the game will also be based on famous battles, which took, actually took place in ancient Japan. 
So here's this giant enemy crab. Gran Turismo 5 and 6. Gamers runs a Telltale series, Hakuna Matata, Hyper Dimension, Neptunia Victory, Heavenly Sword, which was like an early game people were saying it was going to be the system seller, but it wasn't. Hellboy, which sucks. Heavy Rain, which is good. I enjoy Heavy Rain. It's a lot like uh, Beyond Two Souls. Yeah, that really story-based kind of game. A Homefront. <sighs> what am I doing? Two copies of Heavy Rain, apparently. Hyper Dimension, Neptunia Mark II. The original Hyper Dimension Neptunia, they're not very good games. They're like, they're like a weeb bait, I guess. And History Channel Battle for Pacific. I cannot talk today. All right. Ico in the Shadow of the Colossus collection. Great games. Shadow of the Colossus. Check it out, man. Family Game Night, Volume Three and Four. They were cheap. Come on. Like most of these games, I paid like five bucks for. Ghostbusters the video game. Good game. Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage 2. Godzilla, which I tried out. It's not very good, but I paid like 8 bucks for it. Dead Space 3, which is not as good as the first two, but it is still a good game in my opinion. Kingdoms of Amalur, The Reckoning. I've heard good things, but I need to sit down and play it. Guided Fate Paradox. Fantastic Four. Little Big Planet 2, The Extras Edition. And NCIS. Alright, third shelf. Actually past the halfway point. Two shelves down, two to go, and I just need to show the collector's edition stuff up there at some point. So, let's start with this stuff first time. Planet 51, haven't played it yet. Down here you go. Journey collector's edition, crazy good. Our flow is okay, but Journey and Flower are the games you want to get this one. This is by the same people who made another recent game called Abzu. It's on the PlayStation 4, and they're all very similar games. They're like, um... You're in this foreign world where you play as a creature kind of just wandering around and you don't really know what's going on but there's all the beautiful scenery and good music so it's fun. It's good. Monster Madness, terrible game. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. This was like one of the first big games I remember coming out. This was like 2007? 2008, so yeah, when this one was coming out. People were talking about this a lot. They are talking about how, like, every time you killed an enemy, they would die differently. It was so cool. I remember there were tech demos where, like, you would chop the lightsaber down like this, and there would actually be a lightsaber mark, like, going down like that. It was like, that was big stuff back in the day. Uh, Resident Evil Revelations. This is the Japanese edition, but you can play the, uh, you can play it in English, so it's fine. See, English, French, Italian, stuff like that. It's basically in everything, and it has more than the... Well, then the Australian version has, so you might as well get it. Uh, demo discs, whatever. No More Heroes, Heroes Paradise. This is a, a kind of updated version of the first No More Heroes game. I don't think it... I think it has, like, a little bit better graphics, and that's about it. You can play it with a controller or the PlayStation Move. I played it with a controller. It was a lot of fun. Definitely give it a go. Inversion... Infamous 2 and Infamous, which are both really good superhero games. Check them out, he plays like a lightning dude. Iron Man 2, Il 2, Stemovic. Or Stemovic, Birds of Prey. I heard that was a good game, I haven't played it. Just Cause 2, good game. Uh, golf, I like golf games. Don't Tell Carter. Juiced 2, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Good game, it's a fighting game. Kung Fu Rider, which is a... Very wacky and weird game. Yeah, weird one though. Definitely worth checking out. I should be pulling these out to show. Right, Knight's nice Contract. Haven't played much of this, but it seemed okay from what I was playing. He plays like this foul mouth dude. It's a bit like God of War. Killzone 3, good game. Kane and Lynch, not so good. Fuck, this was $110 once upon a time. Killzone 2, this was a really good game when it came out, like, you could do big multiplayer games on this. King of Fighters 12. Kane and Lynch 2. The Kingdom Heart HD remixes. Definitely worth checking out. These have, uh, two games each on them, plus a, like, small movie. This one has Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, and then, like, the cinematics from the 3DS game. Like if, if you're looking to play Kingdom Hearts 3 but you have no idea what the story is, these are worth checking out because I had no idea what they were before I played these.
yeah, good games. Plus, if you buy these two, it saves you buying like four fucking systems. Lair, this was one they were hyping up back in the day, man. I remember Lair coming out. This was like supposed to be the system seller. You could ride a dragon, use a controller to actually control it. Like, you could move the controller. Like, you move to the left, he'll go to the left. Move to the right, dragon will go to the right. But just, it was not a good game. Not at all. Another one I recently finished, Lollipop Chainsaw. A lot of fun. Definitely check that one out. I need to take stickers off of that. It's very wacky. Lord of the Rings, War of the North. War in the North. Good game. Last of Us, real standout from the last generation. It's on PlayStation 4 as well, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, definitely check this one out. It's just a really, really good game. Set in the zombie apocalypse. Lego Lord of the Rings. Lost Planet 1, 2, and 3. These were games that I was always hoping were going to be better than they were. I have played and finished all three of these, but they're just... They're not as good as their premise. Like, the premise of the game is that you play as a person on a lost planet. And it has extreme conditions. And there are monsters everywhere, so your health is constantly going down. You need to kill monsters to get more health or, like, heat signatures from them. It's supposed to be, like, this big thing where you go around killing interesting monsters, but it's just, it's not as fun as it would sound to actually sit down and play. Which is unfortunate. Little Big Planet. One, two, and Carting. Little Big Planet Carting is actually really good, but I've never been super into Little Big Planet. I think they're just okay. Lost. L.A. Noir, which was randomly released on PlayStation 4 like a couple of months ago, and Xbox One and all of that, but it's okay. It's a good game. It's not the best Rockstar game of the last gen, but it is a good game worth playing. Um, The real allure of this one is that you're in like Hollywood in the early 40s, so it's like you get this really cool sequence where you're going through the um set that they used to film... I think the movie was called Intolerance. It's a black and white silent film, and it's so good. It shows, like, the uh, crucifixion of Jesus and stuff. It's it's a lot of fun. It is a good game, and if you, if you dig classic cinema, I think you'll really like this. It's like, it says noir. It's a noir game. Uh, Magus, Rando and Seal, haven't played it yet. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Mortal Kombat of DC Universe. Used to play that one a lot. Madagascar. Mortal Kombat Complete Edition. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. Good game. Motorstorm. I need to remove stickers off of that. Brand new Minecraft for the PlayStation 3. I do have a few sealed games, but I'm not like a sealed collector. Mini Ninjas. Fun game. It's also on the PlayStation 2. Mind Jack. Mafia 2, which is also like one of those games set in the 40s. A lot of like, um, like Mafia kind of stuff. I, I did games that are set in the 40s in America. It's like, there's a really cool kind of feel to them. Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriot. You remove stickers off that one. I cried at the end of this game, but looking back it was... Uh, it is a good game, I'll just say that. Mass Effect. Two and three. I don't have the first one because unfortunately for the PlayStation 3 it was only released as part of a trilogy, but two and three are good games, and if you're going to get two, this is the version to get because it has all of the DLC. Uh, Metro Last Light, good game. It's a bit like Fallout except without the role-playing elements. It's good. Metal Gear Rising. You can solve Z. Mirror's Edge, which also got always got more love than I thought it should. I thought it was just okay. It's like a free-running parkour kind of game. Max Payne 3, really good game. Rockstar killed it on the previous gen. A very early release that was really bad. Gundam Target in Sight. Uh, the um, 
Fortunate Medal of Honor series. Uh, just not very good, unfortunately. They just weren't as good as the originals. So this does have Medal of Honor Frontline on it, which is a good game. Mercenaries 2. Monsters vs. Aliens. Mag. Monster Apocalypse. Whoa, what are you, where are you going? Yeah, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. Uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4. Dragon Age Origins Ultimate Collection, which I got like 4 bucks. Soul Calibur 5. Tears to Tiara 2. And Skate 3. Good games. NBA Jam. Some Naruto games. A Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Neo, which is a really good game from the last gen. Neo Automata is also very good. I haven't played that one yet. But I really like Neo. It has a very interesting story. Uh, Naughty Bear, which is a very weird game. You just play as like an evil bear killing other bears. Need for Speed Undercover. Another Naruto game. Nino Kuni, which I haven't played yet. Nailed. Need for Speed. Ninja Gaiden 3. National Geographic. Need for Speed The Run, which I heard was good. Never Dead, which I bought brand new and regretted it ever since. God, that's a bad game. Overlord and Overlord 2, good games. The Vox and Men, haven't played it. Persona 4, Prototype 2, which is a good game, I like Prototype. Uh, Portal 2, which I finished with my girlfriend on the like, multiplayer, it was a lot of fun. Prince of Persia, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, Ugh. Prince of Persia The Forgotten Sands, Painkiller, which is a great game. Quality first-person shooter, and the original Prototype. If Speed Hot Pursuit, Payday 2, Remember Me, which I bought brand new and it was not very good. The Puppeteer, which is super cheap right now. Go and get it if you haven't played it. It's so good. Quantum Theory, Ridge Racer 7, Resident Evil Revelations 2, Ride to Hell Retribution, which is the worst game of the last gen for sure. Uh, Ranko Sukagimi's Longest Day. This is an interesting game. It's a... Uh, it's an endless runner where, depending on how far you get in the game, you unlock an anime movie. It's interesting. Uh, Rage, which I really liked, but I will admit it is a bad game. Uh, Riddick, Red Faction Armageddon, and probably the best game of last gen, Red Dead Redemption. Just the best. Prison Break, Ruin Factory Oceans, Rogue Warrior, The Ratchet & Clank games, also good games from the last gen, definitely check them out. Apparently I have two copies of the Chronicles of Riddick, so I'll need to sell one of them on. It's always interesting doing one of these videos and seeing what I have doubles of. Ratatouille. More Ratchet & Clank. I think the only Ratchet & Clank game I'm missing is... Uh, quest for Booty. Which is a good quest to be on. Rambo the video game. Resistance 2. Resident Evil 6. I liked Resident Evil 6, though I will admit it's not as good as the others. Resistance 3 and Resistance, good games. I'm still waiting for a Resistance game on PlayStation 4, which I would probably buy. Resident Evil 5, which is in a cool little collector's case. Resonance of Fate, Idris Unbounded, Red Faction Guerrilla, which is a great game. I love games where you can like destroy anything, and that's a game where you can do that. Star Trek, Super Street Fighter 4, Saint Sire, Spec Ops The Line, which is a good game. It's um it's based off of the old story, Heart of Darkness, but it's uh, set in modern times. And it's like a war game, it's not like you're going down the African Congo collecting ivory. Saint Sire, Sanctuary Battle. Alright, last shelf here. I'm gonna have to do some collection maintenance, I really need to get a new shelf. Show these ones first, recent pickups, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Paintball, London 2012. I'm basically, I'm almost done with my PlayStation 3 collection. There's less than 30 games I need to get to have my, um, to have all of the games that I want, you know? Saints Row 4, really fun games. Sleeping Dogs, another really fun game. Just a good open world game where you go around, do missions, and have fun. Sonic Generations, which I bought brand new. I'm not disappointed that I did. Hold on. Here we go, we can start showing them again. Simon Blood Curse, which I'm ashamed to say I haven't started playing yet. It it looks good. I do enjoy the other ones, and this is a horror game, so I will be checking it out eventually. 
Simpsons game, which I beat last year. Fun game. Though it is not as good as Hit and Run, which, I mean, spoiler alert. Uh, Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. Honestly, if you're going to get a lot of the old Sega games, this is the way to get them. In those collections. Stranglehold, which is good. It's like Max Payne 3 before Max Payne 3. Which I guess it's a rip-off of Max Payne. Skate. Saw 2. Sean White Skateboarding. Singularity, which is interesting. It's a first-person shooter set in, like, a alternate version of the world where, like, the Nazis won or something. I think that was it. Yeah, you, like, go back into the past to kill Hitler. It's, it's interesting. You get a lot of secret powers and stuff that control time. It's good. Sniper Ghost Warrior 2. Silent Hill, Downpour, and Homecoming. Not great games for the Silent Hill franchise, but they are decent horror games. Star Ocean The Last Hope, for five bucks, great deal. Supremacy MMA, I like MMA games. Saints Row 2, which is good. It's like, it's more serious than 3 or 4. Another copy of Super Street Fighter 4. Shadows of the Dam, which is made by Grasshopper, which is the same people who made uh, No More Heroes. Good game. It's uh, If you've played No More Heroes, it's a lot like No More Heroes, except you have a gun. Spider-Man 3, which I thought was a fun game on the PlayStation 3. Definitely worth checking out. Syndicate? Uh, not a good game. Technically, you cannot buy and sell this game in Australia. It was banned. But you can own it. Uh, Starhawk, good game. So love like uh, it's like a futuristic version of Warhawk if you played that one. Shift two, Saints Row the Third, full package, good game. Good open world game. Stormrise, which is a strategy game. Soldier of Fortune, Sacred Three, Street Fighter X Tekken. A lot of hate for that one. Another shoot. Speaking of hate, Sonic the Hedgehog. I have finished this game, but I will admit it is a terrible game. Just broken mess. I don't know what they were thinking putting that one out. And they never fixed it. Soul Calibur 5. Skylanders. Shellshock 2, which is an interesting little game. Set in the Vietnam War, you see ghosts and stuff and fight zombies. Uh, Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon, good game. Girlfriend really, really likes this one. I really like it as well. It's definitely worth playing. Especially with the uh, Spyro trilogy coming out. Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2, good game. It's very short, but playing a Star Killer is a lot of fun. SSX, man. If you like your snowboarding games, get this game. So good. Original Saw. Splatterhouse, which I'm really happy this game got made. I would love a sequel to this game. I love the old Splatterhouse games, and I love this game. It's a lot like God of War, but set in the Splatterhouse universe. Really fun. Kind of hard, though. South Park, The Stick of Truth. Uh, not, la not a hard game at all, but it is funny. I got this game the day it came out. I have not played Fractured But Whole yet, but I will get around to playing it eventually. Just got to get them on the cheap. SOCOM Special Forces. Back now, this SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. Countless hours into that one. I'm ashamed to say that this is where I played Silent Hill 2 and 3 for the first time on the HD collection. I liked them, but after playing the PlayStation 2 versions, I can definitely see why people don't. They are, these are butchered ports, man. They should not have remade them. Uh, one of my friends really, really likes this game. He was like top 10 in the world at it at some point. It's like, eh. Yeah. Saboteur. I've heard good things. Just have to sit down and play it at some point. Hawks and Hawks 2 games are trying to fall down. It's one of the only bad things about having them set up in this way as opposed to in this way. It's like these won't fall down, these will. 
uh, Tron. Watchmen the Ender's Knife, fun game. Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters. This is an interesting game. It's a RPG slash visual novel kind of game. It's kind of like an RPG. It's more like a uh, strategy game where it's like you play as these characters and the ghost is somewhere in a room and you have to like kind of figure out where it is and it's all like on a grid. It's like, uh, it's, it's interesting. Uh, check it out if you are interested. Just know it is not incredibly, um user-friendly, like you really have to figure out this game. Tech and Tag 22, enters a Tin Tin, cool special edition of Tales of Graces F there. Uh, what was this one? Oh yeah, Tokyo Jungle, recent edition, I have to sit down and play this one, I'm actually going to put this to the side so I can play it. It's supposed to be really good. Two Worlds 2, Damn it, shit is falling down everywhere. So we got The Witch and the Hundred Knight, Tom Clancy, uh, Transformers War of Cybertron, really good, Trinity Universe, and Time Crisis. Okay. Um, I'm just going to throw this in there. I'm going to throw a couple of games in there just to... I do have these set up in very roughly alphabetical order leading up to this point, but hold on. Yeah, that's a bit better. I had these set up in alphabetical order leading up to around this point, but after that, I just couldn't keep them in alphabetical order. So we have Time Shift, which is another early game I played on the PlayStation 3. Actually, like, I played Fallout 3 first, and this was like the second game I played on the PS3. Good game. Uh, I like first-person shooters where you can, like, control time and do interesting stuff like that. It's just interesting. Great little set here. Tales of Symphonia Chronicles has the old GameCube and Wii game on it. And getting this is much cheaper than getting those. Twisted Metal, great game. Terminator Salvation, bad game. Thief, bad game. I'm gonna turn on the camera, or the light. Yeah, it's a bit brighter now. Tekken 6. Tomb Raider Trilogy, good one to get. Tomb Raider Legend is a great game. Unreal Tournament, which I did not pay 9 bucks for. Uncharted 3, Special Edition. I like the Uncharted games. UFC, Undisputed 3. Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Another copy of Uncharted 3. UFC 2009. Uncharted 2, which is not my favourite. 4 is my favourite, but it is good. Under... Under Night in Birth. Have not played that one yet. A recent acquisition, Vampire Rain, Altered Species. Not a good game, but it is interesting. Akira Chronicles, Viking Battle for Asgard. Good game. Another one I really enjoyed, and do hope it gets some kind of sequel at some point in the future. Vanquish. Another one that's a little bit like that other one I showed. Um, what was it called? I don't remember it, but it was like that other game where, like, you're in the future and you, you're you shooting down people. Well, it's like a sci-fi thing. Sorry, it's like, when I'm trying to think of a game, I can't really think. Sorry. But it is a good game. Check out Vanquish for sure. Vin Diesel Wheelman. Just a open world kind of game. Where the wild things are. WWE All-Stars. Really fun. WWE 2K14. The last great. WWE game, in my opinion. Williams Pinball Collection. WWE 13. Where the Samurai 4? I need to get Where the Samurai 3. These Where the Samurai games are really good. There's so many ways to finish these games. Wet. I remember that one coming out. The Walking Dead Telltale series. Really good game. Great story in it. Wolfenstein New Order. Why Not Chronicles? I've ordered Why Not Chronicles 2 like four times and keep getting the original. Bit annoying. Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z. Not a very good game, unfortunately. Yakuza 3, which is a really good game. Just haven't played it yet, but I know it is a good game. Wanted Weapons of Fate. This is based off of the movie, but it's actually a pretty good game. 
Warriors Legends of Troy, which is like a Dynasty Warriors kind of game. Wonderbook. Wolf Among Us from the Telltale series. One of my favorite games from the previous gen. X-Men Origins Wolverine. It's, um... If you watched the movie and really hated it, you should play this and fall in love with it, because it is such a good game. It's like, it's everything the movie should have been. It's violent, it's gritty, it's so good. XCOM Enemy Unknown. This was supposed to be the good XCOM game. Yakuza Dead Souls, which I've been playing through a little bit. So in the end, as I finished the first one, it was good. I have not finished the second one yet, but they are good games. Um, Arno Surge, Ode to an Unborn Star. Not really sure about that one. G.I. Joe. Yakuza 4. Sky 3. Sky D2. One I will play soon. Deadpool. Spider-Man Shadow Dimensions. Cross Edge. Tales of Zillia. Some RPGs up in this bizitch. Eternal Sonata. RPGs, are you got these games? Fairy Fencer F. Tales of Zillia 2. Tales of Zestria. And Young Justice, not an RPG. And Soul Calibur 4. Okay, so just a few more games to show. Hey, this has been an eye opening video to show. I really need another shelf. I need to go through these games and like take stickers off and stuff, so a lot of collection maintenance to do in the near future, so we'll show these last ones here. Dark Souls Limited Edition. Love Dark Souls. Demon Souls Black Phantom Edition. Yep. Another great game. Child of Light. I really like this game. I have a physical copy on the Vita somewhere. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> This came with Alien Isolation as a pre-order bonus, it's just a metal case for it. Murdered Soul, Sp Soul Suspect, which I did enjoy. It's a good mystery kind of game. There needs to be more games based around a mystery. Call of Duty Black Ops, this is the Hardened Edition. I don't believe this was, like, really anything more expensive back in the day. But now, like, the Hardened Edition's, like, crazy pricey. Deus Ex Human Revolution, the Augmented Edition. Killer is Dead. Interesting game by Suda Goichi. Prince of Persia. This is an interesting collector's edition. I would like to get a lot of collector's editions, just like on the cheap. They're just kind of cool. I like them. Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. Grand Theft Auto V Special Edition. And this... Far Cry 2, like, crate. This thing is huge. It's supposed to come with a t-shirt as well, but I don't have that one. That's okay. Alright. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank you for watching. If there are any PlayStation 3 games that you did not see here that you suggest that I do buy, uh, definitely don't let yourselves be silent. Let me know, because I'm always looking for great games on the PlayStation 3, and... There are just so many out there. It's like the PlayStation 1 and 2 where it's like you think you've gotten all of the games you want and then someone will make a video showing you a brand new game that you've never seen before. So if you have any suggestions for games I should get, definitely let me know and I will try my best to seek them out and play them. Thank you very much and thank you for watching. Seek my house, bidding you farewell. That's all, folks.